Hey what's up, my name is PJ and in this video I'm going to show you how to work colour into your band photos. So this is an edit that I have from a few months ago now. It's pretty much there in terms of tones, contrast, etc. But I think with a little bit of tweaking in the colour department we can make it really special. So the first thing I would do, I'm going to show you two ways how to do this. The first thing I would do would be to duplicate that background layer. And my preferred method is to go to select, color range, which brings up this little dialog box. If you make sure you have selection ticked there, it will show you like with a layer mask. So the white bits of what you have chosen and the black bits of what you have deselected. So with your eyedropper, you can click in the color ranges that you want to change. So in this case, I'm going to change the green. And so you click on something green and it'll select everything in that color range. Now with the eyedropper tool here, click the plus eyedropper. And now everything you click is going to be included in that color range. So I'm just going to click in a few of the green tones here to just make sure I've got everything I want. It doesn't have to be perfect and you can also adjust the fuzziness here to see how much of those green tones you want in your selection. So I reckon somewhere around there. So you are going to hit OK and that's going to spit out a selection that's chosen exactly those tones. So from here make a new layer and in your foreground color, you can choose exactly what color you want to change that selection to. So I'm going to pick a nice sort of deep orange color. And I'm going to press Shift Delete to fill with the foreground color. Click OK. And that looks pretty bad so far. So let's deselect that. But it's done the job. It's filled in my selection with the color that I've chosen. So, so far so good. Next step is to choose blend modes and hit color. That's going to blend it in a little bit. It's going to make it fit a little bit more in the picture. It's still pretty extreme though. So reduce that opacity a little bit until it fits in. That's not bad. I think we can do a better job though. So literally just repeat what you've just done. Select color range and choose the bits that you missed. I'm going to choose these greens in here. Some of these ones. Click around a bit until you're happy with your selection. And let's do the same as before. Let's choose maybe a slightly different shade of orange. New layer and shift delete fill with foreground color. Same as before, change the blend mode to color and reduce that opacity. I think that looks really, really cool. So now if we check before and after, it's changed it to a deep yellow, kind of sunny, orangey feel. I really like it. That's probably, I guess you could call that the hard way to do it, but it sure beats using a layer mask and painting it in, and it's still not that hard. I like this way because if you like, if you want to get really fancy, you can layer in different colors with different selections. So you can make it look super realistic. I love it. I think it looks really good. Let's delete those. The other way that I would do it is probably the easy way, but you have less control is in your adjustments panel here you're going to click a hue saturation adjustment and because I'm going to change the greens in this photo go to your green channel hit that eyedropper tool on the tones you want to change and that'll that'll select the tones within that range in the, in the little scale here so what I usually do is tuck them in a bit just so it doesn't bleed into the skin tones or yeah, it doesn't change any parts of the image that you don't want to change. Just tighten it up. And then it's simply a matter of dragging that hue down to make it warmer. 
and then you can boost up that saturation a bit if you need. And that's pretty much it. You can just play around lightness or darkness, whichever you prefer, maybe somewhere about there, and boost up that saturation. So that's just another way you can add color to your band promos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.